Hi YouTubers, Phoenix Talon back with you again in Creativerse, and this is going to be sort of a tutorial, but it's not one that I built, no, this is one that Virat built, and you gotta see this thing, I'm impressed all the time when he builds stuff. Um, this is an elevator with no fans, yes, it's using a, another type of physics that um, block other game uses, one for which I'm wearing t-shirt. Anyway, um, all you do is you come up here. Let's say we want to go to the first floor. Press enter. Step into his little elevator. That's... Plates are glitching again, it looks like. Ah, there it goes. <laughs> Just took a second. And boom! I went... Oh, because we waited too long. Here, let me fall and hopefully not die. Okay, so let's try that again. We'll go floor one. Step on this. And there it goes. And hopefully it'll... Oh, it goes to the top. Alright, your thing's broken! <laughs> Broke. <laughs> Here, somebody else try it. <laughs> um, Alright, so he's gonna go in. There it goes. Boom, all the way to the top. <laughs> but you saw that you saw how he went all the way up to the top of the elevator with no fans okay so boom there you go <laughs> is that awesome or what he had it set up just a second ago where you could go up to the individual doors we were playing around with it he might have actually been showing them something here let me see if two will work all right let's see um yeah there we go I think it's because the plate has the... There it goes. See, look. There you go. Second floor. <laughs> it does work. <laughs> so anyway, um, the way that he built this, and this is this is the tutorial. I mean, this is all it is. It's uh, number comparison gates for the floors you want to go to. They're linked to the door. I don't know if you can see that here. Um, so the way it works is you would put down your number uh, number pad link that into the input of your number comparison gate okay so you see how it's going to your number uh, number one input then for your number two input you put your value so in this case if we wanted to go to the first floor it's this uh, comparison gate right here that I'm looking at and you would enter in your number one value here okay I don't think it's gonna let me look at this but we'll try oh yeah it will okay he must have set it up so I could look at it that's good all right, so that's the uh, that's what's coming from the number pad, and this is what you want it to equal. So number value of one, and it's equal, and then it's sending all of that right here. So if it's true, it sends that to the door. So if it if you enter in number one, it goes ahead, goes to the door, and then that opens the door. Okay, and then the number pad is not set for any delay. So what I'm thinking he's got going on here. What I'm thinking he's got set up here is this pressure plate. Yes, this pressure plate is linked to the door. So what ends up happening is this number pad will open the door. So it should open the door. Why you know open? Number is equal to one. Output is the door. Hmm. It's something to do with this one door. But two was working for us. So see, two opened for us. I'm not sure why one is not opening. Maybe it's something to do with the plate. But it'll stay open until now you get onto this plate, which opens this door. When the door closes, you jump up here, and boom, there you go. You step on this plate, and it goes ahead, and it should reset the system. There it goes. So it goes ahead and closes the door. Perfect, right? So there you go. And then um, we don't have a system for down yet. <coughs> <laughs> All right, so why does this work? Because that's that's the, the key thing here. Um, if you put uh, half slabs, like he's got here, all the slabs up here, the game, this is actually playing on the game, just like uh, other block game did a long time ago. Uh, the slabs count kind of like a pseudo-solid object. So what ends up happening is when you go in this door, it doesn't see a full block above you. So when the door closes on you, the game tries to put you in the next available block above you, which would be the slab. 
because it doesn't see that as a full block. Then as you go up and keep going up, it doesn't, it, you can't be in the door, so it keeps pushing you. And you can't be in that door, so it keeps pushing you until you come to an open spot, until you come to a place that's big enough for your player to fit, which would be an open door. So in our case, we'll go here, go to, enter, and... Dude, your thing doesn't work. <laughs> He's got good logic. I think there's the there's too many of us here, and we've been playing with it for so long. Um, and we all know that the game has some pretty bad glitches with machines right now, which is why I haven't had really any good machine tutorials uh, lately for uh, for you to really you know dig your teeth into. Because frankly, I don't want to build something that's going to break on you, <laughs> you know, first time you try it. Um, so there you go. So one open, so that means that it's going to look for an open spot as soon as the store closes. And the first available open spot is this open door right here. And then as soon as I step on the plate and, and get off of it, it goes ahead and resets the door. So then the next person coming up can come up. So you would, you would use this uh, in a system where going up, you needed to just go up only. Uh, but this also works great if you're coming to a place where the door is going to be open and then the door closes. You see how quick that is? That is so fast. That is so fast. And it's nearly instant. It really is nearly instant. So, um, so yeah. So there you go. Um, I can't believe that, that he's got something so easy and so simple. And uh, like I said, he said I could go ahead and record this for him. And, and here he is right here. The man. Here, go. Uh, here. I'll... Uh, I, I want to get a picture of him in there. I want a picture of you there. There we go. All right, let me go ahead and get this. And fromage. Oh, I think he moved. Don't move, stop moving. Look at me, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, why is I not? Whoa. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, the chat thing is not. Wow. What happened here? All right. Uh, my chat is broken. Is it because of this? No. Uh, hold on. Um. Why am I broken? I'm telling you, there's glitches. <laughs> there's glitches. <laughs> um, I'm broken. <laughs> I, um, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm broken. Oh, okay. Um, ah, the chat is broken. <laughs> All right. I guess that's where we end the video then. <laughs> I broke the game. Better not, you broke the game <laughs> with your build. <laughs> I think he's going to put this in his tower so that you can have a quick up to his tower. So anyway, I just want to say, uh, this is Virat's idea. This is awesome, and it works great. When it work, when the machines work and there's not like 20 million people over here watching, um, it works fantastic. So anyway, I want to say thank you for watching. Until the next video, peace.